That's yeah. an interesting point. Yes, mm. it's not just the language, isn't it? Other than just the way we speak differently, mm. it's it's uh, different kinds of yeah, the, exactly. the sound of things. I think I remember a friend saying to me at one stage who who was um, from Shanghai. Yes. That she said sometimes in in Mandarin the same word. Uh, depending on whether you have an inflection in your voice or whether the sound goes down, that same word can have very different meanings. Yeah, exactly. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. That's very subtle, like different mm. to English in that way. Yeah, you have a lot more range. Yeah, yeah, and that's why Mandarin is so charming because you know, in different in different situations,、mm. you pronounce the same words differently. It means differently. But. But for us, we can have the same words sound exactly the same and have totally different meanings. So charming. I don't know if we'd call our English that charming, but challenging perhaps. But a good point, Susan. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that kind of the language. The language has to sort of grow to fit、mm. fit what you're trying to express.、Mm. You know, not just with、uh, mm. not just with your words, but with your with your body language、mm. and with your、mm. and with your voice. But of course, you don't have body language when you're doing audio. No. Although, although in the case of Susan's books, there's these beautifully. Uh, charmingly illustrated characters, which, which are doing the body、mm. language、mm. for us.